22-year-old American student jailed and most likely beaten in North Korea for stealing a political banner is finally coming back home to the United States. The father of Otto Warmer speaking out for the first time today, and he's praising President Trump for securing his son's release. He says the previous administration didn't do enough to help his son. Watch him here. When Otto was first taken, we were advised by the past administration to take a low profile while they worked to obtain his release. The question is, do I think the past administration could have done more? I think the results speak for themselves. And we've just learned President Trump and his team demanded the North Korea release this kid. So are we going to be seeing more tough talk? I mean, what does this tell us? about this administration and how it differs from President Barack Obama's administration. Joining me on set, Fox News military analyst General Jack Keane. General, good to have you back here. Uh, what's your reaction to this? Do you think this is demonstrating two different approaches to problems? Well, I, I, I think so. The, uh, this president has a more aggressive foreign policy, for sure. He believes in asserting American leadership in the world, as we had done most of the time since World War II, mm -hmm. with the exception of President Obama, who pulled back. He had this ridiculous policy dealing with North Korea, and the father mentioned it in his talk called strategic patience, which translated mean do nothing. Mm -hmm. And this president has put the military option back on the table. He's got a, a carrier strike group sitting off the coast of North, North Korea. He's flown bombers into South Korea. Uh, he's put a, a, a missile system, a ballistic missile system into South Korea. He sent some loud messages to them that he is very different in his, in his approach. So I think he, I don't know if, if that's the reason why he's released. I, I, we can just speculate, but that certainly I think the Secretary of State was probably very aggressive here by comparison to the previous Secretary of State and the previous department, which usually was hands off. So, you know, going in there and demanding the release, very different than saying we're going to be strate strategically patient and, and hope that the North Koreans do the right thing. We, we know that they really didn't seem to do the right thing at all by this kid. I mean, they were talking about 15 years in prison. He's in a coma. They're saying that he suffered neurological damage. Do you think that he was tortured when he was there in North Korea? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they torture anybody they put in their jailhouse. This is the most morally reprehensible regime on the planet. They kill their own leaders, they starve their own people, they take hostages routinely for political reasons, and they torture them. It, they are brutal people. Let me turn to another uh, news item, and that is General Mattis, and he's going to be given this new authority to do what he needs to do in Afghanistan by the president. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think we moved, we moved from Obama, the micromanager, to Trump, the delegator. <laughs> and he's given Mattis some authorities, usually that military commanders certainly make recommendations on fort le force levels. He's letting him make actually the decision. Now, listen, from a practical matter, he's going to bring this to the president, to the commander in chief. He's going to show him what, what he wants to do and why he wants to do it. The president will give him a head nod and we'll sort of go, go forward with that. But the, the reality is I also think that uh, inside the Trump team, there's some disagreement on Afghanistan. And maybe the president also has a little bit of reluctance about escalating the war. Maybe he does. Interesting stuff. Indeed, good to see you. Thank you. It's always good to see you, Trish. Thanks, General. We'll be right back.